Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's September the 30th and we're looking at uh, 1 Thessalonians and chapter 2. Now my password today is in the first verse, verse 13, in which uh, Paul says this. Let me read the whole verse to you and then we'll look at the, the small part which is my password. For this cause we also thank God without ceasing because when you received the word of God which you heard of us, you received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. Now that little phrase that is my password today is the word, the word of God. Now often in scripture the Bible itself is mentioned sometimes the Bible talks about itself and when it does talk about itself it refers to itself as the scriptures or the writings so the Bible when it refers to the Bible is, is it calls itself the writings however when it uses that phrase the Word of God it's referring to the preached message or the gospel as it is delivered by evangelists. So let me read the verse again and you'll see what I mean. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing because when you received the word of God which you heard of us you received it not as the word of men but as it is in truth the word of God. So the word of God then is not the Bible the Word of God is the message of God which is preached by evangelists. It is the Gospel, the Gospel of the grace of God. And it works effectively. In other words, it effectively works in the hearts of those that believe. But that isn't the point of the phrase. The point of the, f of the phrase I want to bring out is this. That when they heard the preaching of the gospel from the evangelists Paul and Silas and Timothy and Luke when they heard the word of the gospel they received it as if it was a word from God and not from men now that puts a great responsibility on the evangelists because the evangelists the gospel preachers are not there to give their personal opinion they're not there <coughs> to express their pet theories. They're not there to give advice about daily living. They're not there to give a pseudo babble, a sort of a type of psychology about how to be a better person. That isn't what they brought at all. What these evangelists brought was the gospel. Now the gospel, in very simple terms, the gospel of God's grace is this, is, is a declaration that Christ has come and that he's died upon the cross and that he's buried and that God has raised him from the dead. And of course he's ascended to heaven and coming again. But the gospel is this, that Christ died for our sins, was buried and God raised him from the dead. That is the gospel. That is the thing that was preached. And when the Thessalonians heard it, they received that, not as the thoughts of men, they received it as the word of God. This was the message of God to them. The message of God is that Christ has died. Christ has died. And lots of questions would have occurred in the minds of those who hear that they might have said to themselves well why did he die they might have said to themselves why did he die for sin they might have said to themselves why did he die for me and that is the gospel that is the center this is not about how to increase your friends and how to uh, influence people this is not about how to have a better life this is not about how to become wealthy far from it 
This is about what God has done. And God has sent his son into this world who went all the way to Golgotha and there he died for you and for me. Now that's the gospel. That is the word of God. That is the preached message. Paul says, it worked for you. It worked effectively because you believed it. You took it to your heart and as a result of that, God saved you. And, and he says, and you went on from that and you became followers of us. And you became followers, you joined in with the churches of Judea. Your Gentile churches. Up in Macedonia there, but you joined the church. You joined the whole body of the church. You joined the churches of God which were in Judea, in Christ, before you. Wow, this is great truth. And we must really understand what is it that they believed? What was the word of God that they believed? The gospel is a declaration that Christ has paid the price. That Christ died upon the cross and he was buried but God has raised him from the dead. That is the word of God that they believed. God bless you. Great to talk to you and look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye for now.